In this video, we are going to look at the problem of solving polynomial equations. You have all solved quadratic equations, and uh, this um, video is about uh, complex numbers being useful in solving higher degree uh, uh, polynomial equations. So let me uh, start by considering a polynomial equation of degree n degree n that is what I mean by that is uh, complex numbers multiplying powers of z um, various powers of z which we add in such a way so a0 times z to the nth power plus a1 times z to the n minus first power all the way to a n minus 1 multiplying z to the first power plus a n multiplying z uh, to the zeros power which is just 1 so that is the constant term in our polynomial um, so a uh, 0 to a n are complex coefficients and I'm going to tell you about a few uh, general results which are very important um, and we'll, which will show you just how useful complex numbers are. Um, let me start by the first one. I'm giving you these um, results as facts. Again, I'm not going to prove them. They uh, go beyond the, the scope of this, this module. So the first fact was proven by the German mathematician Gauss uh, who has proved that such an equation uh, such as above will have at least one and at most n distinct complex solutions. Okay, so what I what I say here is uh, there are always n complex solutions to an equation like this, but they might uh, coincide. So they, uh, if we count them as distinct uh, numbers, we are really focusing on the values of these numbers, um, it could be that they all coincide into just one complex solution, uh, but they could be really different, all of them, in which case we would have n complex solutions. And this is true since the left-hand side of our equation can be factorized. As follows, um, a0 times z minus z1 times z minus z2 all the way to z minus zn. We have these factors which we which if we expand we would get back our original left hand side this polynomial on the left hand side. So this means that in order to solve this equation to get zero uh, out of the left, left hand side we have to plug in uh, either z1 or z2 or zn for x and that would result in one of these factors being zero and giving us a product that is zero. So these z1 to zn are the uh, numbers, are the roots of our polynomial or the solutions of this polynomial equation. Okay, um, this uh, uh, result is so much so important that it is called uh, the fundamental theorem of algebra. So all of algebra has this theorem at its core. Well, this is the fundamental theorem. Uh, so this is the fundamental 
theorem of algebra. Okay, uh, next, um, well, I told you about quadratic equations, and you have all solved quadratic equations, and um, I don't know if you had this uh, question, but it's a natural question to, to ask about higher degree polynomials. Is there a, a, a similar formula for, for third degree, that is cubic equations, or fourth uh, degree four equations, which are uh, quartic? Um, and the fact is, and this is uh, due to Italian mathematician uh, Cardano, um, that in fact there exist explicit formulas there exist exist um, explicit uh, formulas for um, solving um, general polynomial equations of degrees uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the, the degree 2 case is the quadratic formula that you all know. Well, of course, linear equations are easy to solve, but uh, cubic and quartic uh, equations also have um, explicit solution uh, formulas. They are just very complicated, but they exist and they can be used to calculate, to, to find the solutions of, of such equations. And you might immediately ask, why did, we, did I stop at 4? What about degree 5 or higher degree um, polynomials, polynomial equations? And this is fact number 3, which is a remarkable fact and a, a, and a beautiful result by French mathematician Galois uh, pr uh, showing, uh, basically telling us that no such formulas exist. No such formulas exist for um, de um, degrees, for equations of degrees Um, five and higher. Okay. Um, so there are no general formulas for for five uh, fifth degree uh, polynomials and higher. This is a, a remarkable result by Calva. So to finish off this video, I would like you to uh, solve the following equation. So um, just an example. Well, of fact number two, and I guess fact number one, uh, is for you to solve the following equation, z squared plus 2z, um, that is, sorry, minus 2z plus 2 equals 0. Okay, so pause the video, find the solutions of this, this equation, and input them in the, in the boxes below the video and I'll give you the solution after you have done that. Okay, I hope you paused the video. Well, you can use the quadratic formula to find the solutions of this quadratic equation. You just have to go through the usual formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. In this case, this gives us uh, this expression divided by 2a. So all of which leads to 1 plus or minus, and under the square root we have negative 4, which gives us, uh, uh, which gives us 2 uh, i, oh, sorry, divided by 2, so which gives us plus or minus i, in fact. So we had to divide that term by 2 as well. So the results, uh, the, the, the solutions, are 1 plus or minus i. Okay? Um, I hope you got it right, and I'll see you in the next one.